Hi everybody, it's Lisa, Twyla's mom, and today we're going to see what I found at my teeny tiny little Dollar Tree. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about this one. Huh. If you didn't tell, if you can't tell by the title, I'm excited. Yeah, I am. <laughs> uh, the first thing we have here is some tube confetti. Um, these are perfect um, for like shaker cards, you know, projects you got going on. I picked these up in the Christmas colors. And last week I think I picked up Halloween colors. I think I'm going to bring up my Halloween crafting tub and start on the Halloween Halloween greeting cards. So, but these are for Christmas. I, aren't those some bright, bright, vivid colors? They're very shiny and everything. And ugh, I like them. like them. Then tomorrow night we're going to see if Marshall and Emily, the new baby, and big sister Aria want to come over for supper. And if they do, I don't really have any outdoor toys for the kids um, because they've all gotten bigger, grown up, and yeah, so. <laughs> but she really likes to go outside while she's here. And uh, we have some sidewalk chalk for her to play with. And I picked her up just a few little little things. They probably won't last more than a visit or two. <laughs> but I picked her up some finger shooters. And then a flying propeller with LED. And a cyclone flyer. And then we also do have like a... A bouncy ball that she kicks around every so often and stuff like that so I thought I would pick those up for her. I can just put them you know like in a bag and hang them up in the garage then oh gotta reach down here I found these gel pens in the harvest colors yeah I was I've never seen these before and I don't even know who they're they're from Greenbrier but here they are, gel pens. These are really neat, and they are in the harvest colors. Like here is the harvest green, the brown, the yellow, and the orange. And then the other four pack I got, which I think one of these greens are going to repeat. These aren't really harvest colors, the blue and the purple blue. But, yep, they doubled up on the two greens. So this package has the same green as this package. But here is a lighter harvest color. Let's see. Let's try these out real quick. We'll try out the orange. Try out the orange. Let me see. Do I have a piece of paper? Ooh. Yeah, here's my grocery list from all these. Ooh, they write very smooth. They do. Look at that. They write very smoothly. No skips or anything. That's pretty neat. Well, that one did, but I wasn't really doing it correctly. <laughs> oh, it is skipping. Yeah. Oh, but once you get the ink going, it does great. I have never seen these any harvest colored pens at the Dollar Tree. So I grabbed a package of each because you guys know I love my coloring books. Um, greeting card season is starting up in like Halloween, Thanksgiving. Yeah, so these will come in real handy. Then I'm, I was trying to get paper products built up in the house and um, past few weeks I've just been buying whatever toilet paper we need. So I went ahead and bit the bullet and I bought eight packages of the Dollar Tree um, toilet paper. We like it just as well as anything else. And yeah, it's, but it says it's good for septic, septic systems. So I don't know. I don't have a septic tank. So those of you with a septic tank, yeah, you, I don't know. Don't trust me. I grew up on septic and you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. So yeah, I stocked up on that, and those will be going put away up in the uh, bathrooms and stuff. 
And yeah, I did buy eight packages because that would be eight times four is 32, eight dollars for 32 rolls of toilet paper. And typically, uh, if I got it at Aldi's, I'd pay five dollars for 12 rolls. So, yeah. That's one thing we're not real particular about toilet paper, except we will not use that real thin Scott toilet paper. No. We use more of that than... No, we don't use that. <laughs> you know, the kind they have like at public bathrooms and stuff? Yeah. Okay, next thing I found, I got... I thought I picked up two boxes of these. I think I did. I'm going to put those aside for a moment. Next thing I have here, I picked up two boxes of tissue. Oops. Two boxes of tissue. I got the Scotty brand in 148. And we'll just put these away because cold and flu season is on its way. And exceptional value. Softness you can feel. I don't remember last time I had a, any of us had a cold so bad that our nose was rubbed raw. I can't remember. I'm sure it's happened, but I can't remember the last time. Now, if I had little ones, I would definitely get the puffs and stuff like that. Okay, this was a really good deal. I didn't have any more light bulbs, um, but these last forever, and we've slowly but surely have been the spiral ones that they were supposed to last you for five years they never did and you can't see or anything with them but sunbeam came out with a um led energy saving bulb and um they they last forever and they don't get hot or anything like that they're made out of like a plastic and they don't get hot or anything but they have the two pack right now instead of the one pack so i picked up two packages of them and these are a hundred watt oh my gosh a hundred watt remember remember for about two years a little bit ago you couldn't buy a hundred watt bulb to save your life it was like oh get them off the shelves they're bad Ugh. I need my 100 watt bulbs and these guys are bright good light so I did pick up two packages of them if you guys are wanting to stock up your light bulbs try them out I mean you can buy the single pack if you don't think you'll care for it just buy one see what happens now this is the warm white so hopefully it didn't have that the harshness of having a um, a regular glass bulb has but they are heavy heavy and they're made out of like a plastic I feel like I could throw this in my trash bag you know like once it was a bulb burnt out I could throw this away and it's not going to shatter and cut somebody yeah I used to hang on to the old to the packages and put the bad bulbs back in because I was afraid that they would break and and hurt someone because those light bulbs when they break that glass is so thin it just goes right through you and stays in you like a knife but I really like these all right they brought back an old favorite the peanut butter the pumpkin spice cups so I had to pick up a package I had to it's the law. And then I saw these. And I only picked up one. I had to try them. It's the Dove Milk Chocolate and Peanut Butter. It's such a teeny tiny package. Teeny tiny. You know, I mean, these should be selling for 50 cents. Not a dollar. 50 cents. Dollar Tree, bring your candy prices down. You don't have to sell everything for a dollar. Bring your candy prices down. I would stock up on them then. Yeah. But they also had the dark chocolate. If you are a dark chocolate fan, the Dove has the peanut butter with dark chocolate. I don't care for dark chocolate, so 
I know, I know. It's supposed to be a little bit better for you. I, I, it, chocolate's chocolate. It's depends on how much you eat, right? You can eat tons of dark chocolate and still gonna have this same effect on your hips that the milk chocolate had. <laughs> but I don't know. I'm not an expert on it. I uh, needed some AA batteries, but some of you mentioned that the AA batteries are going from a 4-pack down to a 3-pack. My Dollar Tree followed suit. Uh, Christmas is coming up, so I need to get these stocked up for toys, cameras, whatever we need them for. But if they're going into toys, I just buy them the cheapy little ones. This is an 8-pack. Eight 8-pack eight of AA's. Sunbeam. They're not the lithium. They're not the alkaline. They're just the super heavy duty. These will get those little kiddos through the day. They'll go home with that battery operated toy and then it's mom and dad's problem to buy them the good ones, okay? So, eight pack. Get them through the day. That's all you need. <laughs> they're going in my battery drawer and they're going to be kept for you know, those toys that Grandma, I need a battery. Here you go. <laughs> and Grandma didn't spend a fortune on them, so there you go. Okay, I needed some more spick and spam for the kitchen, the kitchen counters. Um, my Dollar Tree, if I don't need spick and span for the kitchen, they've got the refills. If I do need it, they don't have them. Well, this week I thought, okay, I'm just, I need it, so I'll get the refill. Nope, didn't have it. So I have got to put it up in the file that if next weekend, if they've got them, even if I don't need it, go ahead and pick it up. Because, yeah, if you can get the refill, it's bigger, you get more in the bottle. And why, why put this in the landfill until it is done for? There you go. Oh! Needed some more mouthwash, but they did not have my close-up. So I guess we will try the Reach Essentials Anti-Plaque. I don't know if this could... It says it freshens breath. I'll have to have Scott try it because we usually just use the same type and bottle. You know, the close-up. I'll have him try it too and see if he likes it. Um, the, it looked like they had a space where the close-up is, but it... There wasn't any left, so I don't know. This I don't know if we'll like it or not. We'll try it. If we don't like it, Twyla will probably like it. All right. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. One more thing. The awesome fabric softener. I like this stuff. I do. I, I do. And apparently my whole damn town likes it too because I don't find it very often or it I just don't think to pick it up if it is there. But I did realize I only had a half a jug left so I thought I'd better pick some up. So I picked up more. I like it. I like it. I think it's just as good as Downy and Snuggle and all that. In fact, I... Can't remember the last time I bought Snuggle. Yeah. I think the last time I bought Fabric Softener, it was from the the Aldi's. From Aldi's. But this time I got it at, at Dollar Tree. It's like, why not? I like it. It does well. It does a good job. So, and the scent don't last. It doesn't. Um, but static. I use it mainly for static because my hair gets all frizzy and carries on and during the winter time it's just it is so if this helps with the static then yeah get that all right i found it i found it i found it my dollar tree had it i found it okay i was so happy i stocked up on this i did i got two of each kind except one kind I got two of everything but one. I found the foaming conditioner. I did. I found it. I found it. I was so happy. So the first one that I got is the Pantene. I got two bottles of the Breakage Defense. Do you know how much this cost at Walmart, Dollar General, 
anywhere else. It, yeah, it's like 297 to probably clear up to five. So, yeah, if, if you guys can find it, pick it up. And I told Twyla we would try one, one can each. And then if we don't care for it, stocking stuffer, mm-hmm, stocking stuffer, because just because we don't care for it doesn't mean one of my daughter-in-laws won't love it. Then I got the Foam Classic Clean, right here, from Pantene. I wish this would have been in mousse, because my husband uses the Herbal Essence Mousse, and I would have I would have stocked him up, stocked him up, but it wasn't the mousse. It's it's the conditioner. But this I got the herbal essence cucumber and green tea in the shower foam conditioner. So I picked up two of these. And I also picked up the which one was this? This was for sheer moisture. And then for the volume, I picked up white grapefruit and mosa mint. Picked up two of these. And then uh, to refresh your hair, you know, when it's kind of feeling yucky, refresh it. When it's tired and old, just refresh it with blue ginger. Yeah, so. Like I said, we are going to try a bottle of this. If we like it, we keep it. Then we'll try a bottle of this. Like it, we'll keep it. And so forth and so forth. If we don't care for them, I will... I've got people who will use it if I don't care for it. So I just was so tempted to just take my arm and swoosh across that shelf because my Dollar Tree never gets the stuff you guys get. Never, ever, ever. So, I was like, what? No. No, no, no. Now, they did have this one in the Color Renew, I think it was called, for hair that has been colored. Yeah, Color Renew or something. I did not get that one because I have tried... Um, different shampoos and conditioners for color treated hair. I don't color my hair. I don't. I'm just all natural. Yeah. So you guys are going to turn on your computer one day and I'll just be a head full of white hair because I don't color my hair. <laughs> my hair has enough trouble. It doesn't need to have to worry about, you know, getting over a dye job. So. I didn't pick up that kind because that kind tends to, I don't know what it does to my hair. I had a some shampoo and conditioner from the, um, what's it called, like Revive or something, and I got it at a really good deal. I can't remember what, it was a name brand, got it really cheap, like in clearance or something. And I used it for about a week and it just kind of it almost damaged my hair. So there's something to be said for if it's for color treated hair, maybe you ought to just use it for color treated hair. At least me. I don't know about you guys, but I figured it would help it, you know, because color treated hair gets stripped down, it gets dry, brittle. So I figured, well, that's that's got to be good for regular hair too, you know, because you're trying to recondition your color treated hair. But, it, it didn't work on my hair. In fact, I don't even think I was able to finish the bottle because, yeah, it was just a mess. It made my hair dry and break and, yeah, so. But I was so happy, so, so happy, my little Dollar Tree. And like I said, it was, it took a lot of restraint, a lot, because they had tons of it, tons of it. And it took a lot of restraint to just swoop my hand on that shelf right into my cart. Whoop! Mm -hmm. It's all mine. I wanted to. I wanted to. But I didn't. I behaved myself. I only got two of each because these will last us for six months, a year. Yeah, I don't know how long they'll last, but they will last a while. 
and it was funny because the lady at the register she saw me with these and I only picked up two, four, six, eight, ten, ten cans of it and she goes you know it's funny we'll get something in and that's all people get everybody that comes through here gets this and I'm like well lady it's a name brand item for a dollar and she looked at me and I said well do you know how much this would cost you it's not going to cost you a dollar at Dollar Tree. So that's why people are getting it when they see it. So I didn't understand why she didn't get that through her head. Herbal Essence, you know, come on. It's a name brand. It's not cheap. It's like $3. And we're getting it for a buck. That's why you're seeing everybody grab it. <laughs> I know I'm being rude. Alright, so that is what I found at my Dollar Tree this week. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up, and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear what you, or see, read, whatever, what you found at your Dollar Tree. And I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to leave that comment. I'd love to hear from each and every one of you. Bye!